possibly a, a goalkeeping dilemma for, uh, for Ricky Herbert with Paston back to full fitness now on the bench. And Glenn Moss has done nothing wrong in the first four or five games. Head. Oh, nice touch Daniel. from Sarkis. Cal Dodd diving header. Team in white and the team in black. It was Dodd against Dodd. It's very, very vulnerable indeed. Here's Lockhead who will be disappointed with his role in that goal. He lost the run of Agostino, who was in the end given a free header from close range. Is Dodd looking for smelts? Well, there's a little more spark. Certainly felt it. Is Dodd? Turns for Adelaide. Working their triangle. And almost working at very set pieces. And how do you decide who's doing what? There's uh, certainly a lot of give. Ten minutes of this half. And the, conceivably leave them nine points outside a finals place. So a big second half in front of the Wellington Phoenix. Maybe the biggest 45 minutes of football as far as their season is concerned. They had a good spell towards the end of that first half. They thought they'd got the equaliser through Daniel. A key player, the man wearing the armband. Yeah, that uh, season-ending injury to Michael Valkanis. So they have had their injury worries at the back, have they? As Hornthwaite suspended, Angelo Costanzo having a large portion of the season out injured. Came back and he's out injured again. Still got uh, Angelo Costanzo, even though he is a crucial player as far as Adelaide United are concerned. Yeah, it's a lot of flexibility away. Who knows what can happen in the last four or five games of the season. Numbers forward into the box. Delivery from set, paces, from set pieces has been excellent. Adelaide United clearly playing the counter-attack now. Lots of uh, Burns and Sarkis are dropping deeper and deeper. Anticipating the offside flag to come up. Adelaide hang on. And Susak sent from the field. As a player in those sort of situations, you can't dwell on what, what might have been 10 minutes ago. Well, Nicky Merger again, good skills with his left foot. Thought the first one was his foul anyway. Into the game as yet. Cleverson goes route one. Up well, by sometimes Dodd. you have to, don't you? Character Shane Smeltz, although he plays for New Zealand. He's actually born in Germany, raised in Australia. He's got it right. Early days, of course. Yeah. But it's nice to see that those two players that were very much liked on the Central Coast that have found jobs, if you want to put it that way. They like calling football. Seven days ago. That was only a two-goal deficit. This one is a three. Signs of really looking like scoring at the moment. John Hutchinson scampers after that ball over the top. But Dodd is there first. There it is. Uh, Osman's ball in towards uh, one that was in the second half a volley, which ricocheted off a Wellington player. But apart from that, he's worked hard, of course. Pockets, Daniel. That sets up another attack for the Mariners. Here's Nicky Merger. First touch was heavy. Well, the bang two on the ankle from Caldo. Taken out of the match due to those three first half unanswered strikes. over the top for Petrovsky to run on to and Carl Dodd with the intervention 
Nice play from the Central Coast. And the final pass cut out by Carl Dodd. Again, drilled in centrally. And again, Dodd up well. Been away too much ball, the Phoenix. This stage, particularly in the middle of the park. The simple passes, isn't it, Harry? No passes that should go straight to the man. Just finding the opposition at the moment. And a five Phoenix players defend. Heffernan on the charge. It's a little short. Another hand written Aloisian. Tim Brown have sat in the middle of the park and done their work. Suspension. It's a play you'd rather have on the park as, as often. Well, that's a bit tame for the midfielder. There's another player, Vince Lear, that hasn't had a lot of game time. Treating a fine line at the back for the Phoenix. And Dodd clears. Clears the smelts. Daniels in a winner. The fence getting stretched. Simon goes, gets tipped up. Unseen by the referee. And that's good defending from Carl Dodd. I think Shane Smelts, you've got to play Jeremy Christie in there. The, the guys, mate. No, it's too slow. Struggling for fitness, I think, Armand Elrich now. Into the last 10. It's a rather unconvincing defending from the Phoenix. Here's Kemp. That needed to be a well-timed tackle from Ferrante. There was. Now a chance. Either way, he's off. And so is Thompson. Thompson in behind. Down he goes. No appeal from the player involved. Plenty of these victory fans were hoping for the benefit. Pulls up goes near post. Good cover though from Dodd. Rebner. Well defended by Aaron Vasileski after the ball as well. Thompson's onside. Good ball from Hernandez. Danger here for Wellington. Thompson in on goal. Down he goes. The challenge from Dodd. It's going to be a corner. Well, Christian Rees will be a very, very relieved man. He was pinged from 40 metres from Carlos Hernandez. Pantaletti's superb pass. Thompson once again in behind. And again, Dodd gets there in time and times it perfectly. Advantage played by Peter Green. Here comes Dodd again pushing into midfield. Good play by the Phoenix defender. Felipe. Now Joel Griffiths with a chance to attack and he leaves Cleverson for dead. Hairfield. Important challenge there from Carl Dodds. Janino out for four, possibly more weeks with a uh, injury to his shoulder. Uh, it's a delightful ball. And there was a collision right under the nose of the referee. One of the Newcastle players is stuck. And Adam Griffiths looks long. First touch for Joel, but then does, undoes all the good work for the poor pass. Jade North just puts his boot to it. Carl Dodd brings it down. For the evening, I expect to see him getting forward a lot more and support Vaughan Coveney and, and, and Shane Smelts up front. Now Perth opportunity to attack in these two sides this year. Both victories to the Phoenix. Well, they'll be... There's Reese. Kick. The turn the run was from Felipe. And it was the right idea too. It was a great run by Felipe. Great ball from Ferrante to get to find some.